Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Christina. I am a new gardener in South Arkansas, Zone 8A. And today I'm gonna to be talking about hardening off my tomatoes. So, I started my tomatoes indoors in my closet <laughs> um, eight weeks ago. And it's been eight weeks and a few days. And my estimated last frost date was April 1st. And today is April 4th. And although we have not had any freezes since, um, it's, been a, it's been a couple of weeks, I have been very cautious about putting my tomato plants in the garden. So, uh, to be completely honest, I have been putting these tomato plants outside in the shade um, almost every day for the last four weeks or so so they have been hardened off to some degree but I'm still very skeptical and um, nervous about what temperatures that they are exposed to so um, the way that I determine if I'm gonna put my tomatoes out whether it be you know in the day or whatever um, I have two techniques and one of them is really sophisticated and um, I call it the arm test and I stick my hand outside the door and I wave my arm. <laughs> and that to me, um, you know, if it's a little bit chilly, I probably won't put them out. Um, if, it's, if it's cold to me, then I'm not gonna put them out. If it's a little bit chilly, I might put them out, but not for very long. Um, and then I'll put them back inside. Um, they're not really under the grow lights anymore because they're too big to be under the grow lights but they are in the room next to the grow lights as close as they can be to them. So what I've done, my plan today was to put them outside. Today's high is I think 70, let's see. Right now, um, my thermometer, which is my second uh, technique, I'll show you in a minute, um, is saying it's 79 degrees out here, almost 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And so that's really warm. Um, my plan today was to sit these outside um, about 10 o'clock and then I would get home about 12 o'clock and then move them into the sun. So I'd sit them out in the shade where they are now and then when I got home at 12 o'clock I'd move them out into the sun. Well it is now almost 2 o'clock and I have not had a chance to come out and move them out. So at this time I think the sun is too bright, it's too um, harsh to really stick them out there right now. I was going to put them out in the sun for one hour and move them back to the shade and just let them stay the rest of the day in the shade. Um, because where they're going in my garden is full sun. No shade, hardly ever. And, um, you know, I don't want them to get too stressed when I transplant them. So, what my plan now is I'm going to wait until about 5 o'clock when the sun is finished kind of rising over the top and it's going down but we still have some direct sunlight but not as harsh and then I'll move them out for one hour and I'll put them back in the shade. I'm not entirely sure what the low is tonight. I think it's 50 which to me is just I, I want to acclimate my tomatoes a little bit better than that. So we are getting warmer temperatures every day and I will be leaving them out longer and longer every day. My plan, my goal is, today's Sunday, my goal is to have them planted in the garden on Tuesday. And the appropriate way to harden off your plants really is to do it by like a seven day process where you um, bring them outside for one hour during the day during a temperature that's somewhat close to what they're being used, used to being grown in. Um, one hour a day, take it back inside. The next day, two hours, take it back inside. The next day, three hours. And you add an hour every day for about seven days. And then after that, once, you know, your temperatures are good outside, then you could, you know, they're, they're hardened off and you could most likely plant them out with no, um, very little shock that they'll have. Um, what I've learned recently is that when your plants are not grown, like germinated in, in direct sunlight, when they're not direct sown outside, 
they are very thin. They don't have a um, protective uh, coating on them. And so what happens is when you take your plants that have never been outside and you put them in the direct sunlight for a long time, they just, they don't have the protection that they need and they just burn up. And so what you're doing when you're gradually introducing them to the sunlight is they're building up their tough layer of skin, if you want to, you know, put it that way, and um, protecting themselves from sunburn. So my plan is only a three-day plan. Um, I've heard a different plan from uh, Luke at MI Gardener. You, know, you might want to check him out. Very knowledgeable person. Um, he picks three days in the forecast, three days in a row that are overcast, and he sets his plants outside, not on the ground, up off the ground, um, in a shady location, and he leaves them out all day. And I think he may bring them in at night, depending on how cold it is, he probably does. But he leaves them out all day in the shade. And that, and he doesn't worry about putting them in the direct sunlight. And he says that that is efficient enough to build up that protective layer that the leaves and the plants need to withstand direct sunlight. I'm gonna go with my um, method here of doing mostly like doing shade all day and then one hour in the direct sunlight and that type of thing because like I said where they're going it's just really super direct sunlight and I'm just trying to be a little bit more safe about it. So the second technique that I was talk that I mentioned earlier you know my first technique was the arm technique right so stick your arm out the door um, if it's, you know, if you feel like you need a jacket, don't put your plants, I don't put my plants outside. Um, if I'm like, oh, okay, this kind of nice day, then I'll put them outside. Um, the second technique that is, a, of course, more technical than that, and guys, I bought this from Lowe's. I bought this from Lowe's, and it was like literally $13, and I love it. This is called a lacrosse technology digital thermometer it's waterproof and it comes with it comes with a sensor so the sensor is meant to be outside it has a hole here that you can um, screw it you know to uh, a post or however you want to install it outside for me I have not installed it anywhere because I like for it to be mobile so I like I like to be able to put this in under my grow lights when they were seedlings so I would know exactly what the temperature was that they were being you know grown in and I love having it outside I usually just leave it right here laying on the porch and so because this is where I bring my plants to harden off and I love leaving it there because I know what the temperature is I can just keep the display downstairs with me it's where our main living area is and I can know what the temperature is outside Another thing I really like about this is it records a 24 hour um, high and low. So if I click this, it'll say the high for today for the outside was 81.1 degrees Fahrenheit. And the low, which was last night, was 54 degrees Fahrenheit. I really like that because even though you can look on, you know, you look on your phone, look on the weather, you can look on, you know, the news your temperature in your area where you live where your house is is going to be a little bit different and so i really like having this it was super economical i mean it was like 13 dollars and probably one of the best investments i've made for you know starting seeds and, and growing a garden in my opinion so what i'm going to do is tonight at about five o'clock like i said this evening i'm going to move them in there for their one hour in the sun once that hour is up i'm going to take them back inside and they'll be in the closet by the grow lights and tomorrow we'll check back um, I'll record the video tomorrow um, of when I put them outside what the temperature is and how I'm going to proceed in doing this and then on Tuesday yay Tuesday we're going to actually be planting these in the garden I hope I hope I hope they're ready I'm ready I'm so ready to see beautiful things grow. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. All right, guys. It's almost 5 o'clock, and everything is looking pretty good. This actually ended up being quite an overcast day. I don't know if we'll have any direct sunlight, but I'm going to go ahead 
and move these tomatoes over here closer to the edge where they could get direct sunlight if they need it. I am going to move, keep the tomatoes and the 72 cell tray out here as well as the cucumbers but the peppers and the watermelon and the things that is their first time being out here today over here. I'm going to go ahead and take those back inside to put them under, under the grow lights. Alright guys, so we did it for hardening off our tomatoes. I came out here about 5 o'clock and I put them in the direct sunlight. Right now it's about 7 o'clock. So I kept them out a little bit longer than, you know, I had intended. I'm not like the most exact gardener. But um, I just wanted to give you a look to see what they look like. They look pretty healthy. I can feel it. But it's kind of thick, thickening on there. The ones at the top are a little bit thicker than the ones at the bottom because they're more exposed to the sun on a regular basis. Okay, so I'll bring y'all back tomorrow and we will keep doing this so we can get them in the garden by Tuesday. All right. Bye guys. Hi guys, it's day two for hardening off the tomatoes. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon right now. Um, the thermometer that I have outside in the shade is telling me it's 82 degrees Fahrenheit out here. The um, wind right now is about 10 mile per hour winds. Where we're at, it's mostly enclosed. So I feel confident in bringing them out here um, to the shade and that they'll be fine. They're very sturdy plants right now so I'm not particularly worried about that. I'm going to bring them out here to the shade for, um, it, let's see it's one o'clock right now. Um, I'll wait until about five o'clock this evening and then I'll move them into, um, or maybe four, four or five o'clock this evening and move them into the direct sunlight and um, then move them back to the shade. Our low tonight is 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Yay, that's exciting! That means we're getting closer. I hope <laughs> and so I'm actually um, I think I might leave them out overnight tonight I do have this um, mobile thermometer sensor here out here that's going to be right here with them and I'll keep an eye on that and if I really if I notice that it drops below 60 at all um, or in the forecast then I will bring them back inside but let's get them out here okay we have them out here and as you can see I uh, brought everything out here. This is everything that I have growing um, in my closet under my grow lights. Um, it's going to be the first day for the peppers um, and the watermelon, but everything else has been out here before. And I have the peppers shielded by the wall and by the plants. Aren't they looking fantastic? I am so excited. So excited about these peppers. But the tomatoes. This is what we have right now. They feel good and this one's a little bit thinner. I can feel that that one's a little bit thinner than this one. That's okay. They're not, uh, I did not just water these. I watered them maybe two days ago and um, it is kind of windy out here. So I know that they will need some water tonight and I will choose to water those tonight. And another tip that I wanted to tell you is it is really good to actually water your plants with lukewarm to warm water rather than like cold water. It's not something I ever really thought about, but Joe Gardner from um, Growing a Greener, or Joe Lample, I call him Joe Gardner, from Growing a Greener World, um, he suggested that when um, starting your seeds. And I just thought that is such a good idea. And it is. They do. They respond really well to like the warmer water. But anyways, so I will check back with you tonight just to let you know if I'm going to bring these back inside and or if I'm going to leave them out tonight. All right, guys, we'll see you, see you next time. All right, guys, as you can see, it is day three. Today's Tuesday. 
Today's the day that I'm trying to plant these out in the garden, these tomatoes. This is the perfect day. It's overcast. The temperature right now is about 66 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So hopefully we'll get these tomatoes off to a good start. But let's go ahead and look at the plants and see how they did last night. So I left them out all night long and they look really good. They look like they're ready to be planted in the garden. So let's take a look. See how they're nice and green. You can see it's a little bit windy out here. The plants are kind of blowing in the breeze a little bit. And that's good. That's good for them, for their stems here. They're very sturdy plants. All right, guys, I'm, this will conclude how to harden off tomatoes. The, it couldn't have gone any better for us, actually, in that our last day of hardening off would be mostly overcast so that these could stay outside. And so I'm about to get busy planting. See you next time. Bye.